Good morning, Dwayne. How you doing? I hope well. Um, it's January the 4th, 2020. And I'm at Whole Foods, and as I turned on um, the camera, someone said move. There's a lot of pale skin, um, black, African American, um, Spanish at Whole Foods. Um, you have a variety of people living in Annapolis, but this is what I see now. Um, and my genitals were attacked. Now, you know, pale skin is not a nationality. Black African American is not a nationality. And um, this is spiritually. And uh, Hispanic is not a nationality. And you have to be naturalized. You have to have a nationality to be um, naturalized. And then if you, and you're supposed to be naturalized, at least if you're on this landmass, under um, the Constitution of 1787, that includes the 13th Amendment 20 sessions, Abraham Lincoln's proclamations. So my genitals, um, people are eating food. Whole Foods have a uh, food market. Um, people are eating food and my genitals, I'm a Hebrew Muslim, um, natural divine being implementing natural laws, which includes upholding our Moorish American flag, which the green star in the center represents love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And in that, uh, implementing natural laws as a natural divine being, uh, what I try to practice or implement or try to do is not cause harm. Um, demonstrate myself as a civilized natural being because um, it's important because when you're causing harm, you're not only affecting yourself, but you're affecting um, the spirit of Mother Earth and the universe and um, energies around you. The United States is not considered civilized among other civilized nations. Um, in reference to physical health, which is connected to mental health. And, but, uh, but you have masses of people that have the science of telepathy. And many of them behave like animals, beasts. Literally like they're trying to breed. Like, and literally like an animal or beast. And so, um, in Monte Gray Hyphen Bay and I run the Hyphen you know we don't have the science of telepathy. And um, so that is, um, that's something to think about. So my genitals were attacked spiritually here. So anyway, let me continue. So today was a really good day. Um, I felt really well. Um, today at Burger King, I have, still have my Burger King thing here. Um, and uh, my Burger King um, jacket on. Um, it was interesting. Um, I, I, I clocked, so I, I got there around nine. Um, as I walked in, maybe 10 minutes after 9 a.m., um, maybe 9, 10 a.m., there was this pale skin guy, and this is how I remember what happened. I thought, I mean, I was I'm trying to do my best. I always try to do my best in customer service. I received a lot of compliments about my customer service skills. But, um, this, so there was the pale skin guy. Uh, I don't know if he claimed a nationality, but he always had, he, he always wears a navy hat. Many people, um, many um, guests that come into Burger King um, are from the United States military, the Navy and the Army. Um, I, I told you earlier this year, I found out that the um, Navy Academy is approximately two miles behind Burger King. I didn't know that, but I, was, I noticed um, so many um, Navy or those that applied to be connected to the Navy and Army would come there, and some of them would sit there for hours or actually are connected to the Navy and Army. But I didn't know how close um, Fort Meig and um, the academy was and you know, I, I had no idea So a pale skin guy was there this today as I walked in or a little bit after uh, he usually has an um, Navy hat on or, or, or cap that says Navy on it and then I'm just get this is how I remember and then uh, um, Maybe five minutes after that this guy this guest came came in to Burger King um, I took his order he uh, I would give him a description of african-american um, unless he claimed a nationality. And same with the pale skin. I don't know if he claimed a nationality or not that wears the hat that says Navy. Also on his car, on his car, it has a um, retired Navy emblem on it, if I remember correct. I, um, I leave room for error. I don't know if it's his car, but I, I've seen him, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen him drive it too many times. Because I didn't know what the emblems were. I would see those that um, have the um, word Navy on their shirt, wearing Navy or Army attire. And I, and so I looked up the emblem because I was wondering what the emblem was. And then it, I found it online and it, it said retired Navy veterans. 
so um, the black male asked for a bacon, ham, cheese, croissant. I said, uh, or African American. And this is like five minutes after, uh, maybe about 9.15. Um, so, because um, I um, clocked in my, at 9.03, okay? So, um, he said, um, can I have a double or a bacon ham Egg, a bacon ham egg cheese croissant with no egg. I said sure. So I rang it up. Then he said, "I want the two for four. I wouldn't. Uh, I think I want the two for four. I said, "You want the two for four? He said, "Yes." I said, "Okay." Um, the double, the bacon ham cheese croissant, is not um, included in two for four. But I could. Um, I'll try to ring you up where you, um, I can. Um, you will have to pay additional price. So I I, I, re I removed the bacon ham. Egg cheese croissant with no egg, and I ring them up. Now this is at Burger King. Uh, some people call it Burger King a fast food restaurant. I say restaurant because I think restaurant is more appropriate. Um, he um, so then I rang up him. I rang uh, not ring up. I rang the uh, mill up or uh, I think it was ring ring wrong. Yeah, I think it's ring. I rang the ring um, the mill up for two. Um, um, bacon and cheese croissants and then I was going to add ham um, there's a two for four deal where you can get two croissants um, for four dollars and twenty four cents with tax and only um, excuse me someone just said paid and I felt a sh uh, dull pain around my anus okay and this is spiritual um, pain someone said pain and you know we're among those who don't um, who are not considered to be a part of the human family. So when you, um, when you, when I'm experiencing these things, you can only imagine what they probably um, are doing behind closed doors, in reference with other, with animals having sex and, and that sort of thing. So I'm not saying that's what's going. Whoever, I don't know who did it, but this is what I'm experiencing. Uh, you, they, um, when animals such as dogs, cats, gorillas have sex, they have sex in the anus. Or wherever um, they can, so um, that um, these acts are just demonstrating um, possibly um, what they're doing in the sacred grove, that mental space, and also um, in their in that uh, in their cult in their cult society. They're probably having sex with animals. Anyway, so let me continue. Um, so um, and. And this is um, dealing with spirituality, okay? I'm not accusing anyone here. I'm just giving you an experience. I mean, what I just, someone said pay, and I, I, I definitely felt a sharp pain around my anus. And that's not the first time, especially when I give testimony about the United States Navy and Army. And, um, all, and then a lot of times, um, either someone might start saying brother, or, um, or Mexico, uh, military that sort of thing okay I don't know why um, and so um, anyway I rang up the two for four deal Dwayne and uh, for him because I think he said he wanted the two for four that comes up to four dollars and 24 cents this is a black male and um, once again this is after um, I, cause I'm, this is a sequence of events. So I saw the pale skin guy, Leslie Claymore National, with the word Navy on his hat. And then the black male came in ordering um, the croissant. And then he changed it and said he wanted the two for four. I said, okay, no problem. So I rang up two bacon and cheese croissants. And um, the first time I, I, I put it in, I put sausage. And then um, I was changing it to a, um, bacon. And he was like, um, he started to get irritated. He couldn't see what I was doing, but he started to get irritated. He said, I want the two for four. I said, no problem, sir. Um, the, once again, the double is not not included um, in this, um, it's not included in this, um, in the two for four deal. So you're gonna have to pay additional price for the meat. And I was trying to ring it up the best way I can for him, because we are supposed to do that as much as we can. Yeah, um, especially if they're trying to um, get a deal such as the two for four. And um, I was trying to um, make sure I rang it up the correct way because he's changed his mind. 
um, then as I was ringing it up again, uh, he he just said out of the blue, he said she don't know um, how to ring or uh, she can't ring up orders. She not uh, she take it forever to ring this order up. She just he just yelled that out and he got really irritated. And I don't know why, but I stayed calm. And then um, he um, what what else did he? Uh, I so finally I I was not finally, but I started to re-ring the mill up again and I um, charged him for the hem on the side. So instead of the um, the mill coming up to four twenty four. It actually came up to six over six dollars, um, and I told him. And then instead of him wanting to purchase it, the black male, African American, uh, he I don't he has the right. He just he said he he said I don't want it. He just left he um, left out. And um, then um, Dora Dora I think her name is Dora. And Terrence, Doris, a Spanish-speaking co-worker, and Terrence is a black male. But let's see, um, claim a nationality, and I don't know her nationality. She said she's from El Salvador, I think she said. Asked me what happened, and I told them. And they said, okay, you, I mean, they nodded their head, implying I was right. And I, I was like, I don't know why he just left out um, after he said she don't know how to um, ring up orders, or she take it forever to ring up orders, as though I wasn't doing my job. Um, and then she, he didn't purchase the meal. He actually, I mean, literally just, um, he just, after he just, he was irritated and he, um, seemed like he seemed to be a, dis um, a customer that wasn't satisfied. So, um, anyway, that's what I, I experienced. And then, um, otherwise today was okay that I did feel sharp pains, um, around my foot. Um, I still notice, uh, even here, I still hear a lot of spirits speak about somebody being in someone's room and they're paying, and um, some a male paid to be in uh, someone's room and um, they're going to rape you. I hear these um, unclean spirits say this like animals, like a beast, like it's okay to do so. So um, it's like they're waiting for um, something violent to happen. They, they're waiting to watch violence happen. And so um, this, it, it is interesting to wait about the bit because I I would I could not conceive um, waiting or um, encouraging rape upon anyone, but obviously this is what um, what some spirits do. And like I said, being among um, unclean spirits, I might be talking too loud. I don't know that are um, not considered a part of the human family according to constitutional law. So that means um, they are classified as animals, beasts something else then you you can only imagine what they do behind closed doors so um, being not being a part of the human family I mean you are classified as something else so um, um, so what Imani Gray Hyphen Bay and I do we make sure we keep the doors locked you know we don't know anyone personally here in Annapolis Maryland we communicate with Moors as Hebrew Muslims and we're still studying um, natural divine laws as um, natural divine beings. And um, in that, that includes learning how um, um, demonstrating nonviolence and being as peaceful as possible on the physical plane. So, um, and we, and of course, we reject the science of telepathy. So that was my day to day. Um, I was, I did experience sharp pains quite a bit, even. Um, while I was even here uh, quite a bit and you know Imani and I we're not able to um, send sharp pains in that manner we wouldn't want to why would we want to be a part of the problem of um, this landmass there's a problem with health on this landmass so why would we want to contribute to that problem when obviously it is um, so bad um, that um, the United States is not even considered healthy anymore. Now, more, our Moorish American nation um, definitely um, encouraged health. And that's why we exercise in Monty Gray Hyphen Bay. We eat according to the chemistry of our bodies. Um, so I, I am thankful of that. And so those other 34 nations, such as Switzerland, uh, Japan, uh, Australia, other nations, 
They also obviously encourage physical health because they connect the dots to mental health. But um, the United States is not a part, is not even in the first 25 in, in um, uh, statistics, in some statistics. It's, it's not even thir in the first 30. But uh, we are among those that um, are not considered to be a part of the human family. So, and, um, and if they're going around speaking about raping, um, she's one of us, that's us. Um, attacking genitals, um, um, that sort of thing, do you, do you understand why? And so um, they probably would, um, those healthy nations that are being raised up, these healthy nations that have been raised up and obviously um, are doing something different, it's, um, there's a reason why they, they have rose up in health, education, and um, not just physical health, but mental health, Islam.